everyone welcome back to my channel in the last uh, ep video we learned about the velociraptor oh uh, here is the velociraptor on the globe which is not actually a globe it's a ball now we removed we broke the sand Ouch. well today uh, as it is also um some people's favorites uh we're going to learn about the great triceratops we all know the triceratops has three horns and a big frill. We're going to learn about what are these for and what are its eating habits, which time period and a lot more. Let's get started. Firstly, I would like you to uh, mention in the chat section below what you learned. Uh, okay, yeah, now I'm ready. Let's move on to learning about the great triceratops. Okay, let's look at this triceratops on the globe for reference. So, it has three horns. Uh, and uh, its front two horns are used for defending against enemies. The triceratops used to live in herds. And its herds gave it more strength. And the more the number, the more strength it has to defend itself from other predators. Uh, the horn on the top here is not really... Um, for defending but uh, we still don't know what it is for so let's move on now we see here there's a beak and it's just like a bird's beak but which bird yes it is just like the parrot the beak of the triceratops is just like the beak of a parrot's curved and its teeth are very strong so that it can bite through coniferous leaves and the thorns what is its frill for well, its neck is defenseless as the horns are only on its head. This frill is very strong and it is covered with pointy pointy horns. Tiny ones though. Its bony frill prevents predators like the T-Rex or the Deinonychus to bite its neck and easily kill it. And uh, sometimes also when they bite they get poked by the horns and they don't try to challenge the triceratops again. Plus, um, uh, dinosaurs were afraid of triceratops because they lived in bigger groups. And bigger groups means um, more horns. Okay. Now, because it had a very, very heavy head, it also had a bulky tail. The triceratops' tail helped it keep in balance when it walked. Its tail moved side to side when it walked. And uh, its tail was also very, very heavy, uh, as heavy as the head, so that its head won't fall when it walked. Now, coming on to its bulky, bulky legs. Its legs were strong, powerful enough to lift the whole body of the powerful triceratops. It was a quadruped, means it walked on four legs. Like every other creature, even triceratops had small, small claws, but I'm not sure what they were for. The front legs of the triceratops were shorter than the back legs. Let's observe. Have a look. As even it's mentioned in the globe, the front legs look much smaller than the back legs. The back legs also look, look much bigger and heavier. That is because the front weight of the body, it even uses its leg, its, its back legs uh, when it needs to go up to reach higher leaves. It stands up on its two back legs and uses its hands to grab against the tree so it can be tall enough to eat the branch or the leaves that are on the branches. Triceratops' favorite foods were the leaves on high branches because they were much softer. Now, how tall was this big beast? And how long was it? How much did it weigh? I'm curious. Well, let's learn. Let's start by the weight. The Triceratops' weight was 6,000 to 12,000 kgs. Wow, that's very heavy. Look at the skeleton while I tell you the height. The Triceratops' height was 2.9 to 3 meters. Wow, well, how big is that? If you know, please write down in the comment section below. The length of the Triceratops was 7.9 to 9 meters. Wow. That's so long. If it would be around, it would be as big as my house. Maybe a little bigger. Wasn't that some good information about the Triceratops? 
Oh, I almost forgot to tell. The Triceratops was a member of the Ceratopsian family, which means a group of dinosaurs which have bony frills, four legs, long bulky tail and three or two or as many horns on their face. Its skin color I can't tell because it hasn't been found yet. But if you find it, please write out. I also want to know what was its skin color. The Triceratops all also had common enemies like the Deinonychus or the Euteraptor. Sometimes it's even the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, yes, they do live far apart, but that time there were small, small islands in between. So yes, it is also shown many dinosaurs like the T-Rex and the Deinonychus locked in a meat hunting battle with the Triceratops. Oh. It was a herbivore. And yeah, its horns were just like the horns at the tail of the Stegosaurus. But they're called spikes and they're at different ends. Well, that's all the information I had for today. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any queries, comment down, comment down below. And um, if you learn anything nice or if you know anything that I don't know, please write down. I would also love to know anything new and keep me updated and I would like to keep you updated if you uh, turn on the notification bell. Well, I am new making these videos so I have a little confusion but um, never mind. I hope you liked it. Like it as well. Subscribe to it. Bye guys. Meet you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.